right, what's up, YouTube? Jamon Shadow here, and we're back with uh, this greater Maldru Let's Play in Star Wars Thrawn's Revenge. So the last time I left off, we were facing a consistent issue with uh, a lack of ships and then just being surrounded by a ton of enemy territory. I can all respectable honesty, our fleet isn't that good. The Loker Hulks are not that great of a ship type, so, uh, you know. What can you do? Don't have that many military forces. Trying to fix that issue. As of right now, we're just kind of fairly poor. Vehicle in production. Gonna try to build some more M2 tanks since we don't actually have any. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't know how big of a shipyard th uh, Thanos is out of our. Not so much as I don't know, but I just don't remember. Uh, oh, this place, this kind of map, okay. Uh, yeah, we don't have a lot at all. Enemy fleet approaching. Man, there's that problem. Let's see what we got. Because perfectly, to be perfectly honest, taking control of oh, just a nebula and Thanos is not that occupied. To be perfectly honest, I'm gonna move just a few little frigates. Navigating to coordinates. Let's see what else we got? Just a nebula B frigate there. You don't have a tactical battle imminent. I don't have a goal in here yet, so we should be okay. Located in the mid rim, Thanos is home to the Imperial Shipyard is captured by a warlord, Admiral Terodoc, and assimilated to the Greater Maldrude. Uh, I absolutely just love the warlord uh sagas of the New Republic. I mean everything after, you know, like the Reborn Emperor and uh Black Fleet Crisis and whatnot, those are all really, when, you know, you ignore the bad written parts, like, as entire plots, they were pretty fantastic, you know. I haven't personally read mo some of those uh, books yet, but reading them on the wiki, or at least reading the story behind them, are pretty entertaining. At your command. I think that's why Order people forget sir. sometimes Armed that the EU wasn't really bad, in my, at least in my Why opinion, it wasn't. There's a, you know... The, the Wikipedia has a fantastic way of just literally explaining everything. Just breaking down everything into such a fantastic, like, storyline. But again, people forget. And, you know, it happens. Also downscaled the fighter sizes of, uh... Those are regular Y-Wings still. In any case, I downscaled the fighter sizes some more because they're all looking pretty tiny. About. We should ha definitely be able to confirmed. end the life of this Navigating. mini space station, like shipyard it. or whatever. Underway. These Corvettes are just going to eat these position. fighters up. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry about having to always lower the volume. I play this game a lot of my off time, so you know, I want to actually hear the music when I can actually, uh, when I actually play the game. Really, not a lot of micromanaging needed here, really. Perfectly honest, I really am liking the new uh, fighter sizes that I went with. They're looking a lot more sensible. Man, we're gonna just take care of that. Let's get you down there. Uh, uh, uh. Are they gonna take advantage of him and not having any shields? Any time today would be nice. I wanna really kill this these guys off before that raid fleet spawns in. I 
Um. Excuse me, you wanna death clone? Or I guess not. All right now. Try and clear this up just a little bit quicker. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Guess this, this Quasar model just refuses to die. Hmm. That's pretty weird. What in the world? Oh, the raid fleet came in as the enemy fleet was retreating. That's interesting. I've never seen that happen at that instant. I'm glad I got that on record. Glad I got that on film, man. Alright, so this should be quick and simple. <clears throat> so I was reading through some of the new... Uh, lore regarding the New Republic of the Empire signing their peace treaties and whatnot. Gotta say, it's pretty underwhelming. Uh, Empire just sort of surrendered and they were beaten in a year by the Rebel Alliance. And I mean, really? They beat the Empire in, the, in a year? Conquered the galaxy in a year? It was just kind of lackluster and it made absolutely no sense. The Republic fleet was that big, it was strong enough to defeat the Empire, but, you know, I guess that Empire and that lore is just a tad bit weaker. Hence why I'm not crazy about it. I mean, this, the Empire we're dealing with here in the Roger that. EU, you know, super weapons left and right, Galaxy looks, was a lot bigger, apparently. Yeah, this is the new Nebula model I replaced, uh, the old one. This is the Yuzong Vong at War version. Really love it. We're on our way. We'll be but anyway, yeah, um, yeah, it just seems like the galaxy in uh, Disney's universe. I gotta fix that. In Disney's universe, uh, it's a little bit just more. I want to say dead. I don't know. There's just not a lot of happening with it. It's just kind of lackluster, to be perfectly honest. I should probably start working out some of the bugs before I actually start uh, making videos of this stuff. Oh well. In any case, to recapture Thanos. Wish this fleet would move. We're gaining money slowly but steadily. Building and now we have a, a capital or a level three shipyard. System we really needed this. I don't want that. I don't want that. Telos changed from Warlord to Pentastar alignment. Stenos. I wonder if it's possible to capture a planet with a probe druid. Sounds highly, highly unlikely. Oh. Okay. Wow. Uh, I don't want a single Star Destroyer to be stuck out of battle just because of the Corellian Corvette. In production. This should actually be pretty good, though. We need a good victory. And to be fair, this is actually a really small uh, fleet compared to what the AI could be throwing at us right now. Oh, well. Just a good way to gain some morale within the troops, I guess. I don't know. Just talking nonsense. But, yeah, I don't know. I love the, I love every single bit about the EU. I mean, yes, every, every science fiction has its idiocies, its ridiculousness. It's like... The saber copters in Star Wars Rebels, the worst idea I've ever seen in my life. Like, made the Sun Crusher look intelligent. That's saying something. There Sun Crusher was pretty bad, though. That's a bag. What are you shooting at? What? Hmm. Okay, so that has nothing to do with whatever changes I've made. I can guarantee you that much. That's interesting. Crimson Command victories. Awaiting instructions. Uh, do we have any more? Nope. Yes, come on. Choose your reinforcements. Oh, yep, we have one more. Right away. Star Destroyer standing by. Moving to coordinates. 
Hmm. Yeah, what? What in the hell is going on with the New Republic? I am absolutely abysmally confused. What is happening right now? Like the Quasar carriers are just broken. I've now I've had bugs in coding, you know, when I mess with stuff, but I can guarantee you this is not my deal. At least I don't think it is. The only thing I've changed recently was fighter scales and added in this new Nebula frigate model. Which still needs a shield. Uh, model, but whatever's happening with the Quasar, I can't explain. That has nothing to do with whatever I've touched. At least I hope it has. In, in any case, uh, back to the battle. There are two dead models just moving. What is happening? Alright, well. In any case, we'll just take it to dominate. I am definitely going to be looking through the file, the XML files for the New Republic and the Quasar carriers because something is totally off. Like, why are there spawn death? I don't even know if I want to continue the video at this rate, at least until I, you know, figure this bug out. I did not see that victory just sitting right there. So can we win with that death clone just being there? Not only that, it's a little bigger. I, I'm at a loss for words. I've seen some crazy bugs in my life, but that's, that takes the cake. Like, the new Nebulon I coded in has no issues, but the Quasars, losing its mind. But it's a good thing they just seem to go past without question. They don't stop and, you know, that. The ships try to, act, or my ships try to actually shoot at them, you know, they sort of don't exist. That is really interesting. Yeah, something is way off. <laughs> this is interesting. That's just the bug with this GC, maybe? Or whatever? I've never encountered that issue before. Dang. In my defense, this is a fan made GC, but still, that's. Should have anything to do with it whatsoever. Alright, well... That works, because I am freaking out right now. Uh... I have to cut the video short just to see what the problem is within the... I want to know what's going on. 
that is absolutely strange. Look at that. Look, what, what is what is this? I am confused beyond belief. In some weird way, we still have Commodore. And we can build AT-ATs. On a lighter note. <laughs> Dark Hui changed from New Republic to Pentastar alignment. I don't really, really, really want to know how that's affecting the Republic now. That's some crazy mess right there. And it's time to retreat. I'm just going to call it a day. Oh, they retreated. I, I, I normally don't auto resolve, but. <laughs> you know what? Moving Let's just way. move back for now. Moving out. We'll move, we'll move back in when uh, they have more forces. Probably really shouldn't have auto resolved there, but they had an interdictor, and I really didn't want to deal with that entire situation of uh, actually having to combat that fleet. We'll settle. We'll settle this in another way. Shield generator um, constructed. What? I I can build them here. Brigade standing by. Why can't I not build them here? Does the planet layout not have? What is happening with this GC right now? How Katarn is at Roche? Hmm. Really hoping the New Republic does not attack me now. I just want to take some time to build up and uh, take, yeah, just take the time to build up and recapture some stuff. Viana. Oh my God. What's the point? That is... That's not good. Uh, that is so... Vehicle in production. Constructing unit. Garqui. Where is Garqui? Construction complete. Brigade standing by. Okay, so I need to go and know what's going on right there. Vehicle in production. Having an additional star destroyer in this region is really going to come in handy. And maybe I could actually move Teradoc back. That's a sizable fleet that this small fleet should be able to handle, I want to say. Whatever gets him out of there, because he's been back there for way too long. Alright. I'm going to build a couple more AT-ATs. And the video's not delayed, I'm just saying things a little late. Just for the record. I have a tendency of doing that. Saying something and then like... 10 seconds after said action. There's no delay in the video. I'm just delay reactions. Probably because I'm a little tired. But, you know. So it's looking like a fairly sized fleet. All right, so we've got three victories, Teradoc. Uh, the enemy is approaching. Yeah, so counting Teradoc, we've got three victory cruisers. Trying to broadside them just a Fall little out. bit. Listen Jeez. to me. Jeez. That voiceover is interesting. Right what is 
Alright, so we're gonna just steadily harass them with the ion cannon fire. There are no dead ships in this fleet, are there? No, it's just New Republic acting weird. I, keep, I definitely need to be keeping that in mind. That is an interesting voiceover. He sounds like he is like lung cancer or something. Admiral Teradoc here. Oh my god. I'm tempted to just. Uh, I want to mute that. Alright, so that's gonna get annoying every time I, you know, select a ship and just does that abysmal thing. <laughs> These are shield ability. Or does Revenger have one? Something just use power to shield. I heard it. Can't do these things. Who's using the power to shield? Oh, now, oh, okay, I didn't see that guy. Okay. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Little Corvettes, little beefy food, action, and so forth. Okay, I clicked them, they didn't move. Okay. I know they start, they start cruisers getting pretty hammered, but eh, it should be. Speed this up just a slight bit. Move these Corvettes up just so they can give the, those fighters some support. Terrible voiceover. I guess power of the shields. Interesting. Got a little Corvette. All right, cool. They retreat. That was a pretty simple battle. No freaking out ships, just a, an incredibly interesting voiceover. We killed a lot of stuff. And Teradoc. Okay. 
And Teradoc is back in Imperial, or I guess if you want to call it Imperial Greater Maldrude space. Beginning construction. You know what? No. Building Got a pretty size, sizable fleet there. Oh. Findar is looking. Hmm. Pretty interesting target. Oh, they retook Liotta. Constructing unit. Unit in production. Not gonna say if that's good or bad, to be honest. It's it it just it happens. Our for our forces are heavily outnumbered, and they're just taking large amounts of territory Page back from the uh, and star alignment. Alright, so we've got some tanks. Any form of regression against the Republic right now is pretty suicidal, in my opinion. They're definitely, uh, militarily, I want to say. Ah, well. Star Destroyer reporting anyway. in. Is the regular remnant? So, am I counting as the remnant in that case? Hmm. Admiral, St or Admiral Namo. I'm glad to see they're actually building some of the heroes that are actually in here. Uh... Wait, who did that change from? Oh, Escision. Okay. That's so they captured something over here, too. Yeah, they're doing an um, impressive job just capturing stuff left and right. Oh. This shipyard needs to go. Question is, can I muster up enough forces to actually, you know, directly attack that station? That fully armed. Operational battles. Yeah, kill me for doing that. <clears throat> Brigade standing by. Probe droids take their time to build. Let's spy decision change from New Republic to Pentastar alignment. This is really actually a benefit, though. Uh, this is giving me a lot of time to prepare while they just kind of squabble with one another. Like, all of this changing of planets is really a benefit right now. You only can get a general layout of what orbiting structures there are. They've got this planet defended. Man. To be honest, I'm just gonna keep building Star Destroyers. They're great command ships, and they're just they're good. They're good at holding territory. So there's nothing right there. Do we rise to auto resolve a battle at Roche? Vehicle in production. Let's do it. Again, no delay in video. Just talking really late. Okay. Listen to me. Hmm. They really are fighting pretty, pretty freaking hard over here. Construction complete. I'm trying to figure out where is Garquia at? Why am I, why am I not seeing this? Oh, wow. Did they just say they're Garquia? Hey, yeah, they control some interesting locations. And the New Republic just lost uh, the Hass shipyards. Which are, I want to say... Ready. Where's Hast at? Over here. What in the f what is happening? I wanna know what's happening right now. There's nothing orbiting this planet. Hmm. Second Star Destroyers are almost done building. 
looking pretty good now. We're building up on our forces. We've got a slight credit income. Beginning construction. Beginning construction. Not really too worried because those pirate forces are just basically keeping the Imperials and or the Republic from breaching the rest of my territories, which is perfectly okay. But in any case, uh, I think I'm going to stop the video here. And in the next episode, we're going to try, well, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to go look through the XML code and see what the heck was wrong with those Quasar carriers. Fix those bugs or whatever. Like I said, I did not touch anything related to the Quasars. The only thing I did recently was mod in the new Nebula model. And yeah, really didn't I didn't do anything else and downsize the, the scale of the downsize the scales of the fighters in this mod. But yeah, like I said, I haven't done anything else in specific. So we really don't know what in the world was happening right there. But in any case. Glad to see that we're starting to pick up some pace. We have a lot more territory. Uh, well, not really a lot. We kind of went one step back while leaving Commodore, but we recaptured Thanos, which is good. We've got a good two, a good one fourth of our military force back in action since it's been sitting in Emmer the entire time. The New Republic and the Pentastar alignment are just clashing in the most random locations ever. Pentastar controls this, and New Republic controls. This it's just like what, but uh, anyway, in the next video we're gonna more than likely make a push for Commodore and put an end to that planet as an issue. I try to maybe unite some all of my forces together at once. Uh, finish building more star destroyers. We've already got our third one being built at seven percent. So this is this is looking good. And anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. May the force be with you all and peace out.